Hi, my name is Rick Stout, and I'm the manager here at the Florida Bass Conservation Center at the Richland State Fish Hatchery with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, and we're going to take a quick tour of the hatchery if you want to follow me. We're going to come into the entrance of the hatchery, and we're going to go visit some largemouth bass in the tanks that are spawning. Where we're located now is in the production floor, and these big tanks you see behind me, these are 80-foot raceways, about 11,000 gallons of water, and these are used for our spawning, our largemouth bass on these spawning mats and they actually deposit their eggs on it. The male tends to them just like you would in the outside. And then what we do is every morning we come in, we remove the mat, and we take over the incubation of the eggs. We replace the mat with a clean mat, and the male goes in and attracts the female and they spawn again. And this is what we refer to as intensive spawning. Okay, we're gonna take a look now what the incubation tanks look like after they come out of the 80-foot raceways. If you notice in the tank, you'll see all these uh, wooden rods. Each one of these rods is holding a spawning mat that has eggs on it from our intensive largemouth spawning. We normally average around 5,000 eggs per spawn. And when they hatch out, they hatch out in about two days. And at two days, they, they look like little black grains of, of rice. They fall to the bottom of the tank, and they'll stay in this tank for about five to seven days, at which time they'll begin to swim up. We collect them, and then they're stocked outside in the pond at around 80,000 per acre. After about 30 days, they come back in, they're about an inch long, and that's, we can either stock them at that size, or we can actually raise them to an advanced size, which we call a phase two largemouth bass. We're now outside the Florida Bass Conservation Center, and the, the hatchery here has a total of about 62 ponds. They're all outdoor. They total of about 50 acres of water. The whole property here is about 180 acres. And these outside ponds are used to hold adult uh, brood uh, catfish, channel catfish. They're used to hold our adult largemouth bass when they're not being spawned. We also raise uh, phase two or eight inch channel catfish for our urban fishery program. So the hatchery uses both extensive pond culture as well as intensive culture inside this building. This is the head tank for the water that goes into the intensive fish culture building. The dark blue pipes brings the recycled water from the building back to this head tank. We're injecting pure oxygen into the system to allow us to raise a higher density of fish in the tanks. And this just loops round and round and round in the building. All the water that's running through the building, 90% of that is recycled. So we have a minimal environmental impact on our groundwater sources here. We're doing things now that we could not have done uh, 10 years ago. The technology just didn't exist, it does now. And we're taking full advantage of that now. After we raise all these fish, you know, how do you get these fish to the lake and the rivers where they're ultimately uh, their home's gonna be? Uh, all of our fish that come out of here are all hauled out in these trucks and trailers we have over here. This concludes our tour of the Florida Bass Conservation Center. I wanna thank you for uh, spending some time with us. And the next time you're out catching a bass, just think that bass probably came from the Florida Bass Conservation Center. Thank you.